And we are now in a severe drought, uh, that according to officials uh, with the Department of Utah Water Resources. And there could be even more really dangerously dry spots throughout the state as a result of this intense and excessive heat. And uh, we're not out of the woods yet. And uh, there are some things we can do, uh, you know, concerning the air, in particular here in heavily populated areas like Salt Lake County and all along the Wasatch Front. To help cut down on water waste, though, those officials with uh, water resources are asking that you only use the water that you need to try to help keep the water in the reservoirs. And remember, setting off fireworks right now during these times of extreme drought is illegal. Also, Utah Department of Environmental Quality officials, they're asking that you cut back on your driving in the afternoon and things like mowing your lawn. That is due to the danger of very high ozone levels all across the state, but in particular, some of those heavily populated areas as those temperatures continue to rise in the late afternoon hours in particular. Now, ozone is formed when emissions, uh, they break apart under the high heat and intense sunlight, and the result can be harmful to your health. This is an oxidant, so when you breathe it in, it's, it's akin to giving your uh, lungs a sunburn. If you're in one of those sensitive groups where you have asthma or a heart condition, you're going to want to be careful today. You're going to want to stay indoors. Just like the heat, ozone levels tend to peak in the late afternoon hours, and uh, officials with the Department of Environmental Quality say, uh, just to give you an example, uh, mowing your lawn, running a lawnmower, a gas-powered lawnmower, that can basically be the equivalent of driving your car close to 200 miles, in particular in those late afternoon hours. So if you do have to mow your lawn or feel that you have to, try to get it done earlier in the day uh, or just avoid it altogether and uh, maybe uh, endure a couple of those brown spots as we try to conserve a little bit of water. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.